Hello, my name is Hilmi Fatang Abdulaziz. In this video, I will present my analyze poem Marriage by Marianne Moore. Introduction Marriage is a 1923 modern, modernist poem by Marianne Moore that's considered one of her most fascinating yet challenging works. The poem is the more canon in its unusual because its treatment is more openly personal than that of most of her poems, more importantly, more treatment of passion, confusion, and deluded division vision is undeniably negative. The fact that her sensuous language vividly captures the attraction of one party to another only intensifies the shock of the rest of the poem. In, in most poems, more treats such a confusion and builded vision as positive qualities and opportunities for wordplay and or enjoyment. Another in the introduction, marriage is a long complicated college of statement and quotation regarding the institution of marriage and its problem as well as a critical exploration of gender roles and the relation between men and women. This remarkable masterpiece stands apart from the press of more work for several reasons. It is her longest and one of her most difficult experimental works. It is perhaps her most openly feminist poem in its critic of marriage and patriarchy and with its contradiction, contradictory attitudes. It is also among her the most ambivalent and complex. In my opinion, the dumb of this poem is in accordance with the title of this poem about marriage or the love relationship between a husband and a wife. Especially, this poem emphasizes feminism where women are in a relationship, especially marriage, where the woman question whether the relationship between two people really guarantees a union between two people. And, and then she also questioned the existing regulation in marriage, which, according to her, are burdensome. And in marriage, according to her, there is no freedom for women because she considers the woman position is all, always below. Next is literary device. The first one is metaphor. A metaphor is a figure of speech that describe an object or action in a way that isn't literally true but helps explain an idea or make a comparison. Example from the poem is the night tingle refusing to sing a metaphor for the is a metaphor for Evie refusing to do what Adam wants her to do. The second is Simils. The simils are like metaphor, but metaphor aren't, aren't the same as simil. A simil is a press that uses a comparison to describe. Example from the poem is the herd rising in its state of peace as a boat rises with the rising of the water. The third is the third literary device is alliteration. Alliteration is the literary technique of using a sequence of words that begin with the same letter or sound for a poetic or whimsical effect. Example from the poem is recurring, recurring public promise, promise of one's instantion to fulfill a private obligation. And another example is the central flaw in that first crystal fine experiment. Okay, maybe that's all that I present. Uh, thank you for watching this video and see you.